Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily create a quick poll from within Microsoft Teams. A poll, of course, is a, essentially one question survey. So if you want to get an opinion from your team members, there is a really easy way to do it uh, if you're in Teams. Let me show you. So all you need to do is just hit new conversation. And then if you click on three dots, uh, what you have to do is choose the forums app. Uh, and I will actually explain to you why, but uh, essentially you choose forms. And um, on the pop-up here, that's where you uh, built your uh, quick poll. Again, all it is is just one uh, question. Let's say we are trying to come up with some ideas you know, for lunch. Uh, we want uh, you know, pizza or buffalo wings. All right, here we go, two of my favorite. Um, and you can add options here if necessary. Uh, and uh, by the way, in case if um, you know there are multiple choices, you want uh, people to specify multiple you know answers, uh, you can easily convert them to check boxes inside of the radio buttons. Let's leave it like that. Uh, and all you need to do is just click save. There are a few additional options here uh, where it automatically shares the results with you know your audience, with your team members, so you can even keep responses anonymous. Uh, so you never know who replied, you, you know, uh, to, you, you know, you know how your users replied to your poll. Let's leave it as is. Um, let's click save. All right, and it gives you a kind of a preview uh, of what um, you know how it will look like in uh, within the chat. Uh, just hit send. All right, and essentially it will embed the um, poll right into the Microsoft, uh, you know, team uh, conversation uh, within the post tab, obviously. And you will kind of see live, you know, as you know, people respond to this. So uh, let me actually respond as one of the team members uh, in this particular browser. I'm logged in as Mary. And because we uh, allow the users to uh, see the results, uh, not only uh, you see the poll, but also underneath the actual result. So uh, if Mary responds, uh, uh, you know, with one of the answers, immediately the answers are seen by all the team members as well. So essentially the results of the survey. And of course, if I now go back to my screen, I get to see the same information. I guess I can also uh, submit my vote. All right, here we go. And once again, you will get to see the results live. Now, let me actually show you what happens behind the scenes. All right, so if I go to uh, Microsoft 365, remember when we added this, um, um, you know, poll, right, we actually chose uh, the forums application. Uh, so if I now uh, click on uh, my forums application, what actually happens behind the scenes uh, is uh, when you create a new poll in Teams, uh, what happens, a new form is created uh, within Microsoft Forums account. Um, so let me click on all my forums over here. And look at this. Uh, here is a form that got created uh, when I created this poll in Teams. And uh, essentially, it's a one question survey. And what's interesting about this particular form is that uh, you cannot edit it, all right? Unlike other forums that you manually create uh, from within Microsoft Forums, this one is read-only, essentially, right? It's a done deal. Uh, and you can also view the responses here as well, all right, just like any other form. Uh, but essentially, this is what ha what's happening in, in the background when you create a poll in Teams. Uh, it's all powered by Microsoft Forums, uh, the other application within Microsoft 365. So that's all really I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on my channel. Goodbye.